The next thing I'd like to start taking a look at is uh, matching clips to each other. So this is another very vital process in color grading, uh, in primary grading. Uh, just now we've been working on these clips individually, making sure that you know they're normalized, that uh, the colors are all accurate and balanced. Uh, but equally important is matching clips to each other, so referring to other media on the same timeline and asking yourself, does it all flow? Um, the idea, of course, is that uh, you want everything in your project to look like it was happening in real time. Uh, so if the colors start shifting a little bit, uh, then it's going to be obvious that this was shot over the course of a day or several days. Um, in this case, for example, we have these three clips uh, captured uh, for a documentary on aviation. And I'm going to disable looping in my viewer and then just press play to watch all three of them backwards. So notice how none of them really match, right? Uh, the first one starts off, it's quite warm and quite dark compared to the one that follows it, which is really bright and pretty neutral as well, followed by another one that's way too dark and a bit colder. Uh, so they're all in completely opposite directions. And this happens a lot with documentary uh, recording. Uh, so usually the DPs don't have as much control of the environment. So they can't really set up uh, the light sources uh, as often if they're shooting outdoors. Uh, oftentimes they're jumping from, you know, indoor recording to outdoor. Uh, wedding videographers experience this a lot, uh, so it's important to be able to match everything, make sure it flows well. Um, I think this central clip is a really good neutral clip, so I'll use this as my basis. And for the first set um, of exercises, I'm going to use the auto match tool uh, on the color page. Uh, so I'm going to select the clip that I want to change. And I'm going to right click the clip that I want to match it to. And that will be clip number five. Uh, and I will, from the contextual menu, select shot match to this clip. And did you see that? Uh, so it's a pretty strong change in color. Once again, I can press Command D. You can see that's the original, and that's how much the colors have shifted. If you look at um, any shared elements that they have uh, in terms of like content, uh, so they're both on the tarmac, uh, these are both planes, they've got fuselages, you can see that both of those elements match up so much more closely now, which is great. Um, I can also do the same thing uh, with the next clip. So once again, select the clip that you want to impact, but then right click the clip that you want to borrow the grade from, so shot match to this clip. And once again, another successful adjustment. It's brightened up the image, and we no longer have as much of a cold cast. So now I can switch between these, and I can also play through. And now as B-roll, it just feels much more natural. It flows through. All right. However, uh, this has been particularly successful because of the many shared elements that these clips have, and you know, essentially the reliable white points and black points that they have. Oftentimes, when you're working with media, uh, you're not going to have these types of reliable points, which makes it more difficult to use auto matching, which is sort of a mechanical process. Uh, so it's super important to also be able to match things manually using the scopes, uh, the grading tools, and our eyes.